fans and welcome to another Mount Baker Vapor product spotlight. Today we're going to be going over a tool that should be in every vaping toolbox and that's an ohm reader. So let's go ahead and open this up and see how it works. Alright, so when your package arrives in the mail it's going to come in this white box here with a picture of the ohm reader on the front. Let's go ahead and open it. So all you're going to find in the box is the ohm reader itself. All the instructions and specifications are going to be listed on the back of the box there. And also this is going to come with no batteries installed. You are going to need to have two AA batteries to get the unit running, so we'll go ahead and install those. So now when you flip on the unit, you're going to just see a 1. Um, and that's just telling you that nothing is attached, but it is powering on. Right down here you can see your Ego connection and inside is going to be the 510 connection and right beside it is an 808 connection. Um, I don't foresee many people using that but it is still on the unit. So the way it works is you just screw on an atomizer, flip it on and it's going to read your ohms. So we'll just grab an atomizer here. So it's securely on there and then we're going to just flip it on. And as you can see it's reading 1.59 ohms. So that tells us that it's a safe coil to use. Um, if this was shorted out it would show that one that we saw when nothing was attached to it. And also sometimes it will float. Um, what I mean by that is the numbers will go up and down. Um, pretty much chaotically, um, no rhyme or reason to it, and that's just telling you that something's not secure with your coil and saying, hey, don't fire this on a mechanical mod because it's not solid. If it's not a stationary number like this, you do not want to fire the atomizer on any non-regulated device, or really any device for that matter. So there you have it. That's the ohm reader. Um, like I said, it's a must-have for every vaping toolbox, um, not only for the safety aspect of it, but also it could save you upwards of a couple hundred dollars if you have a hard short on an authentic mechanical mod. So, as always, if you have any comments, questions, leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.